Welcome on this beautiful morning. Today, a little bit different uh, format, as you can see, and we are operating our code in Google Colab. So this is the free version with 12 gigabytes of RAM. And as you can see, we will check out which GPU we will get. We will get a Tesla T4. We will run our standard software packages, UMAP Learn, Sentence Transformer, our clustering algorithm, our NIMPAS, our PANDAS, all our SKLearn datasets. And of course, we will load all the sentences from all the projects from the European Research Council that will end in the year 2021. So all projects with the project description and it's going to be about 13,220 sentences and we will find out what is the content of those projects. As you can see, we will have a domain specific training of our sentence transformer. This is now interesting. We will increase the performance. We will have a maximum sequence length of 128. We will have a batch size of 64. We will shuffle, of course, the data and we will get a much better result if you do some fine tuning of our data. Please note that you have to download the latest version of SBIRT. I use here 1.2, version 1.2 or version 1.1.1, depending uh, which version you download. It should be from May 2021. I choose 10 epochs. You can define the output path. You have the warm up steps. I define as a number of epochs and just 10%. The warm up stance, we apply the fit algorithm number of epochs to weight decay a warm of a linear scheduler i have a learning rate of 3e minus 5 for my checkpoints i have a total limit of just one and every 50 steps i want to have the checkpoint and the path to the checkpoint has been defined and so we go we start the code and it will take us about 25 minutes as you can see, this is now here a fine-tuned uh, BERT model with some pre-trained BERT. We start, but we do a domain-specific training of our sentence embedding. And this will provide some quite some significant differences compared with a just pre-trained model that has not received a domain-specific training. As I already said, the model is a distilled Roberto base model from my transformer from Hugging Face. You can download it for free, no problem at all. And you see for about 13,000 sentences, it takes about 25 minutes on Google Colab if you have a T4. So as you can see on the left side, I show you the table of contents and what we will go for is, or what you can do is now, uh, that you have the model trained and you encode your sentences. Batch size I use four. Uh, show progress bar does not work with my Colab version or I don't know if I have to set another parameter, but whatever. This should take just some minutes and we will get the embeddings for each and every sentence in our documents. So for all ERC projects ending in the year 2021, we will have all documents, all sentences encoded. And then you can easily apply a PyTorch cosine similarity question where you have some query defined, you embed, you encode the model, and then you see have the query embedding, compared cosine similarity to the sentence embedding. And for each query, you get the most similar sentences. I have shown you this in detail already in an older video. If you have an asymmetric semantic search, we go with the recommendation of SBIRT, where they tell you, you should use for the sentence transformer, the MS Marco version is the BERT base version two. And for the symmetric version, you see it just in the line down below, a paraphrase is still Roberto base version one model. You just then encode all your sentences and you go on and do a PyTorch cosine similarity as you are used to. Now we are going to do now the next step, uh, reduce the dimensionality and we have the embeddings and we want to reduce the embeddings to UMAP embeddings. And UMAP is here the beautiful software code segment that will reduce 
from 200, no, 768 dimensions to 12. And n components are here, 12 dimensional space. And as you see, I have a UMAP embeddings neighbor defined as 12. This is my distance function with 5000 epochs. Of course, the cosine metric is defined, and we choose a random state of 42 that we start from the same spot, more or less, every time we run it. As you see, this will take some time. And if we have the reduced embedding, we can start the cluster algorithm. I start with 50 as the minimum cluster size and the minimum sample size 2. The higher the value, the more conservative the clustering will become and the higher the noise will become. Of course, you can play around with the parameter as you like, the epsilon. I have a selection, the cluster selection is leaf and so on. And as you can see, this is what we will do in a second. Next step is, okay, still not finished, no, what a pity. So I guess we have to wait a little bit till this code executes. And it should be done. After 26 minutes and 8 seconds, we have a result. Yeah, congratulations. This is it. Now we can encode our sentences with this new model. But before we save our model, just to be on the safe side. And the embedding gonna take some time. Should be about 1 or 2 minutes for 13,000 sentences. And if you have a lot more sentences, of course, it's not a linear function. But, come on, this should be done right now. One, two, and three. Yeah, and if you want, you can use pickle and save your, your embedding with cola pickle. If you say protocol pickle dot highest protocol, there should be no problems at all. This is the version that I use, this are the, the parameters I use, and I did not encounter any problems at all. After 21 seconds, it's done. We have now calculated the embeddings, and here we go. We define our distance function is 12 neighbors wide. And we start with UMAP that will bring us down from 768 dimensional topological space to a 12 dimensional topological space. And of course, this is going to take some time. Minimum distance is zero. Number of epochs is 5000. You can play around with the parameters. No problem at all. So the computation now takes some time and the result, of course, you can also do and say, let's save now this reduced embedding for each and every sentence, also with a pickle format file. Uh, yes, this is find the nearest neighbors, build the forest, build the trees. And then we have to wait 5,000 epochs for the calculation to finish. Afterwards, of course, you can save it, and then we start with the cluster algorithm. Now, on this UMAP embeddings, the reduced set of embeddings, and the UMAP embedding now take about four, five, six minutes. And when the calculation is done, I will be back with you. And here we are, seven minutes, 12 seconds later, it is done. We have now a 12 dimensional embedding of each and every sentence. And we can now start with our clustering. I define here cluster size 50, minimum sample size 2, and we see that we, oh, we get almost 60 clusters. That's a little bit too much for a demonstration purpose. So let's increase this value to 100. We should get about, yeah, 26 clusters. That's about fine. But, oh yeah, as you can see, cluster minus 1, you see 5,805 sentences of 13,000 sentences. Those sentences are regarded as noise. They are not assigned by the algorithm to any of the operative other clusters you see in the lines below. So be careful. This is noise and you will lose the allocation of 5,805 sentences to the active cluster. So play around with the parameter and you will optimize this result. Just to be on the sure side, you can say cluster and you get all the different or the single parameters for all the algorithms within the cluster. Here you see my structure, but we go right to a three-dimensional visualization. Of course, we have now to break down from 12 dimension to three dimension. 
We have here 4,500 epochs. The learning rate I said is two because we have quite high epochs. And of course, it's gonna take some time. And afterwards, we simply combine the sentences with the cluster labels. So for each and every sentence, we have a cluster label that tells us in which cluster each sentence will live. Then you do a group by by the topic and you run through the normal algorithms I showed you in my other videos. The top in wording of each cluster, I choose, I want to see the top 12 wordings. And I said that I want to see the bigrams and the trigrams within each cluster. And more or less, this is it. We give the algorithm some time to execute. And after one minute and 49 seconds, this is done. And we can go on with our standard code you are already familiar with. We just ran through the code sequences because what we're interested in is a three-dimensional plotly a visualization. As you see here that there's a renderer for our figure. I've chosen Colab. This works really well. And let's maybe reduce here the table of contents because I want to see here the graphic distribution. Each dot is a sentence. 13,000 sentences are now here represented. Also the noise. And you see here the thematic clustering is pretty good. Every area of our embedded space is presented with a color cluster. You can also deactivate noise. You can activate or deactivate single clusters within this plot of distribution. And if you're interested in a singular particular cluster, let's say body systems or quantum information, you can have here a look at this particular cluster. You see here all the top wordings within this cluster. You can activate quantum information field theory, quantum field, and maybe another cluster. Let's see. No, just uh, the one, the two clusters I'm interested in. Yeah, quantum phenomena, condensed matter, quantum body. Yes, so we have here three clusters. And you see, as we expect from the topic, we know physics, field theory, quantum field theory, those clusters are heavily interlinked. And you see also in our cluster representation done by sentence transformers, we have an interlinked cluster structure exactly as we expected it to be. Now, if you choose different clusters and other clusters, Let's say what I'm going to choose, gene expression, DNA replication structure. You see, it is also close by, but it is a different uh, segment of our space. You can go on and then activate a single molecule, mass spectrometry questions. And of course, those are close to the DNA replication genome research. And you see here, monetary policy and banking policy as the dark orange green cluster is completely different allocation is really out of scope here so this gives you a very nice understanding which areas are interlinked for example if you choose cancer or cancer research or dark matter higgs boson you can have a look around what is the research going on what research projects will deliver results in the year 2021 and you will find out what new knowledge will be available for you in the year 2021 coming out from ERC, European Research Council projects. Of course, you can export this uh, interactive presentation. You just say plot, figure, file name, show link is false. I implemented the date here in my file name and you get a beautiful HTML file in Colab, you just say download to your local drive or your local computer, and you got exactly this interactive presentation with the uh, top wording of your clusters as an HTML file. You can send this to a friend, to your colleagues, and it is an interactive 3D representation that shows you the results. You can choose your, your topic that you're interested in, let's say climate change, global climate, you see that it fills out our topological space quite nicely. You have a cluster string here defined, but the dots, they try to cross over the boundaries and also be uh, within the other thematic clusters.
What else can I show you? Single molecular mass spectrometer. Monetary policy we already had. Yeah, it's over there. No, I think more or less this is it. Of course, you can activate the noise. You can see the overall distribution from the other sentences, and you see climate change now is significantly represented, not just in a single corner hidden away in your data, but climate change becomes a topic covering up the whole embedded space, which is good, which is what we are looking for. So I would say thank you for your time. This was our presentation on why it's important to imply sentence embedding on the complex topological knowledge space of more than 13,000 sentences.